Good morning, good evening, good night, or good afternoon. And welcome to the Major World Technology Learning Revolution uh, podcast game. This is for us by us. Today's date is September 24, 2024. Our motto is Suggest Just Shall Live by Faith. All right. Now, if you wish to join and participate in our game, this is our meeting ID and our passcode. Come and join us and have fun learning about Bible, trivia, and black history. We play this game every Tuesday and Saturday at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Mountain, 4 Pacific. Come and join us and let us bless your, enhance your mind with the Bible knowledge and black history knowledge. If you wish to support our ministry, you can do a cash shop at Dollar Sign Majors Square or send Zelle to wmajors at outlook.com. I'm asking everybody to go to YouTube, subscribe, and search and make comments on the games. Okay. Our first game tonight is Black History. And it's everybody that's Brother Majors. And I have four beautiful queens with me tonight. I got three daughters and I got a sister. I got that queen, Letitia Grooms. I got that queen, Diana. I got that queen, Debbie. And I got that faithful queen, Esther. <laughs> Again, everybody that's getting from major tonight for Black History, we're about to get started. Here we go. First question. This journalist was among the first to bring Black History facts to the masses. He is from Nigeria, Jamaica, for black families in the middle of the 20th century. He was a communist and a legendary Pittsburgh Curry, always introducing tidbits about African-American and African-American history on them with facts about black experiences. Since students were not taught anything about black people at school, he was just about the only source for black history that a few generations had. What's his name on the clock? Everybody. Oh, y'all got y'all got five Tyrones and 20 questions. So again, you got five Tyrones and 20 questions. Is there an E? Yes, ma'am. Is there an I? No, ma'am. Yeah, Is there like Thomas? What'd you say? He like Thomas? Yes, ma'am. Is there an S like Sam? Yes, ma'am. Is there an N like Nancy? No, ma'am. Hmm. Is there an O like October? You got an O. Is there a J? Got a J. Why? No, why? L as in late? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Hey, Terry, glad to have you. Kind of jump in when you want to. You think the is, is jump in there. Is there everybody gets from Majors? Yeah, I'm here. Did we say in? Yeah, we say in. Is there A like Apple? Yes, it is. Oh, you? Yes, ma'am. G. G. Okay. Is there R like red? Bingo. Praise God, y'all got it. <laughs> All right. All right, Carrie, you in. Everybody, like I said, everybody get brown major. So when you think of a letter, just jump in there. Okay, next question. He pioneered home video games in 1970 by having created the Fairchild Channel F, the first home video game system that interchangeable game, a New York native. He is one of the few African-American engineers who worked in computing in the dawn of the video era, early in education. Who was it? One, two, three, or four? Number one. Stop everybody. <laughs> Number one. Yep. All right. Okay, ladies, y'all two for two. And brothers, all right. 
All right, here we go again. Next question. Number three. Who was the first black saint? A third century Roman centurion who was born in Tibus in the upper Egypt. He was martyred in what is today Switzerland for refusing to massacre Christians for Roman Empire. He was canonized in the early church long before the Pope vested authority over the procedure of canonization and beatification, exclusively the Holy See in 1634. What's his name on the clock, everybody? S? Is there S as in Sam? E. Is there O? M. I. C. M. E. U. R. E. Hey, Maurice. Maurice, all right, y'all. Okay, all right, y'all. Three for three. All right, come on now. All right. <laughs> Next question. He was an inventor and patent draftman. His inventions included the elevation air conditioner and improvement of manufacturing carbon fibers for the light bulbs and approved toilet system for railroad cars. In 1884, he joined the Edison Electric Company where he worked as a draftman and wrote the first book for electric lighting. Who wow. was he on the clock, everybody? Number three. Is that the final answer? Yeah, I want to hear what my sister is saying. <laughs> Say three as well. Y'all know I need his magic word. I vaguely remember this one. Yeah, I remember it. I, I vaguely. Y'all still got, um, time? got five time wrongs? I let you know y'all got five time wrongs. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I think it is three girls and guys. Y'all got to say the final answer. Final answer. Final answer. All right. Here we go. And you are correct, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right. All right. Look at y'all. 4 0. 16 more to go. Okay. You got to go first. <laughs> Who was the first black explorer of the North American Southwest? The first enslaved African to arrive in Florida long before the explorer of Lewis and Clark crossed the continent. He traversed the land and would later become the United States through the southwest to the Pacific Ocean. What's his name on the clock, everybody? E. Is there an S? T? Mm hmm. B is a boy. A N, I think. Yeah, A N. Look at y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. We getting brighter <laughs> every day. <laughs> every Tuesday and Saturday. <laughs> uh, next question. He was an African American inventor, businessman, and community leader. His most notable invention was the three position traffic signal and smoke hood the processor for the gas mask normally known in 196 normally used in the 1916 tunnel construction disaster rescue he also discovered and developed a chemical hair processing and strain solution who was he on the clock one two three or four y'all calling tyrone it's one or four one no, dang! Th this is the one with the, the daddy senior and the the son. Junior, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lord, you might have to call Tyrone on this one. It's gonna be those two. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the daddy. Cause mm. look at the year, nineteen sixteen. Mm. Oh, right, right. So senior, right. Oh. Uh, one, I'll, I'll take it. One, What's one, final answer. <laughs> right. Y'all correct, daughter. <laughs> That's correct. So you can't oh. get that wrong again, GR. <laughs> All right. Next question. Who was the first black president in North America? He became the second president of the Republic of Mexico in 1829. 
54 years before Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation, Emancipation Proclamation, making him the first president in North America. He joined the fight for Mexico independence for Spain in 1810. He is one of Mexico's greatest heroes. Who is his brother on the clock from Mexico? Everybody. V. I remember V. No, V like Victor. Oh, V like Victor. I N. C. E. E. T as in tall. And the last name is Guerrero. G U. U E R R. O. E R. All right. Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, next question. He invented the electric microphone. 90% of microphones used today are based on the ingenuity of him. An African-American inventor who born, was born in 1931 in Prince Edwards County, Virginia. If you ever mm. talk on a telephone, you probably use his invention. Who did it on the clock? Everybody. Who? Final answer. That's the truth. That's the truth. So. All right. I'll go ahead on. All right. Next question. Who was the first black person in the United States to lead a back to Africa effort? The person who spearheaded the first black initiative, I mean, indicated black back to Africa effort in U.S. history. He is a sea captain and entrepreneur who was prepared, perhaps the wealthiest African American in at the time. What's his name on the clock? Everybody. Is there in? No, ma'am. Okay, that's not who it is, Dan. Is there an mm -hmm. A? What'd you say? An A? Yes, ma'am. Is there an L? Is there yes, e? Okay, is there a P? U? U C? F? Yeah, yeah. All coffee. <laughs> yeah. Look at my people knowing their black merchant history. Go ahead on y'all. <laughs> All right. African American biologist and an author known for his work in egg fertilization and destruction of the cells. Mm -hmm. Who is it on the clock, everybody? Or y'all call on Tyrone? I think it's number one. Yeah, I know I need to hear. Anybody? It ain't Bay Jamison, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's number one. Yeah, I think it's number one too. Okay, I'll take it away. Number one, number one final answer. Okay. That's correct, ladies and gents. Okay, look at y'all. <laughs> y'all got 10 down and 10 more to go and no lifelines. All right. Here we go again. Second round, next set of questions. Who was the first African-American fighter pilot, the first African-American combat pilot seen active duty in World War I? Born in Columbus, Georgia, he was one of the 10 children. He had 11 and he ran from home and according to Carolina family, worked as a jockey in the South. Living at the time with a band of the, it was English born gypsies who taught him how to ride racehorses. On the clock, what's his name? Is there a J? Yes, ma'am. Is there Hello? E? Is there a U? Okay, Eugene is the first. Mm -hmm. So G N. Is there A like an alpha? C Q U S. 
is there D like in Debbie? Is there M like Mary? Is there B like boy? L L R. Correct. Oh, okay. Correct. All right. Next question. American inventor and engineer, best remembered for his invention of the multiplex ele elevator on the clock. Everybody. Are y'all gonna call Tyrone? Y'all doing good, y'all loving no nine to go. But can y'all go perfect? Can y'all do? Think it's number two. Well, y'all know I need to hear. Somebody gotta say it. Who's gonna say it? Somebody gotta say it. Oh, y'all still got Tyrone. Now y'all got five Tyrones out there. You see my fear, Jimmy? Uh, y'all. Two, two, two final answers. I'll take it. All right, two final answers. And you are correct, my sister. You are correct. All right now. All right, look at y'all. 12 mm -hmm. and on, eight to go. <laughs> on April 15, 1949, at Evans Field in Brooklyn, New York, at the age of 28, became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball. Who was he on the clock? Everybody. Jackie Roosevelt uh, Robinson. <laughs> J.A. Wow. C K I E R O O S E V L T N B L. Amen. Forty two. <laughs> All right. You're doing fine. Next question. African American researcher known for being a pioneer in chemical synthesis of medical drugs and plant for, for mega bloods and plants. Who oh, was four. on the clock, everybody? Number four. Yeah, I need to say the magic word. The magic word. What's the magic <laughs> word? <laughs> four or five. Okay, four or five less. I'll say it. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. All right, 14 old, six more to go. A great black general who served in the court of Peter the Great. He was captured as a slave in, in Africa and was adopted by Peter the Great. And his son was taught mil military engineering. Later, he became tutor to the heir of the throne and commanded a chief of Roman army. He died in 1782 at the age of 90, owning a vast estate and 2,000 white slaves. Who was he on the clock? Everybody. Black Russia. Mm, he was a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a as an apple? This man, we got five of them. Oh, okay. Mm. Is there an M? B R H. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there an I? Is there L? N N L. Um, yeah. That's correct. All right now. Look at y'all. Okay. Montgomery, Alabama boy, bus boycott. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a Baptist minister who endorsed nonviolence disobedience, emerged as the leader of the boycott, all black people not to ride the bus. Following, following in November 1956 ruling by the Supreme Court that segregation on public buses was unconstitutional. Hmm. The bus boycott ended successfully, but the bus boycott lasted. How, how long did it last? Three, I mean, three. Number three. Y'all got to say the magic words. I agree, number three.
Y'all are correct. Okay. All right. A 16 0. Four mm. more. Where were the where what were the most largest slaves rebellion rebellion in America? This event was the largest slave revolt to be staged in the 13 colonies. On Sunday, September 9, 1739, a day free of labor, about 20 slaves under the leadership of a band named Jimmy provided whites with a painful lesson on African Americans' desire of liberty. Who hmm. did it on the clock? Everybody. Is it four? Yes. The Stono Rebellion. S O N. Okay, R E B. B. B as in boy. L L I. Correct. All right. Which amendment of the United States Constitution abolished slavery and involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime? The amendment was passed by the Senate in April 1884 by the House of Representatives on January the 31st, 1865, and ratified in the requirement 27 of them, then 36 states on December the 6th, 1865, and proclaimed on December 18th. It was the first of three Reconstruction Amendments adopted following the American Civil War. Which one was it? On the clock, everybody. Three final answer. Look at my daughter. Bam! Go ahead, girl. <laughs> That's correct. I'll go right now. Can y'all do it? 18 0, two more to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to our head, so. June 30th, 1716, May 9th, 2010. She was an African American dancer, actress, singer, and civil rights activist. Her career spanned from for over 70 years, appearing mm -hmm. in films such as Stormy Weather, television, and theater. She joined the chorus of the Cotton Club at the age of 16 and became a nightclub performer moving to Hollywood. On the clock, what's her name? Everybody. L. E. Lena. Yeah, she had that many names. N. A. Like, Lena yeah. Horn. I know it's yeah. Lena Horn. What's her middle name? H. L. R. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know all the middle names now. Calhoun, see, Calhoun. Oh, yeah. M, is the M is, is uh, Y. C, Y'all got it. All right. 19 -0, one more to go. Can y'all go perfect? Can y'all go perfect? Okay, here we yeah. go. Mm. A ship arrived near Port Conference. A coast port. Number three. Colony. What'd you say, Esther? Number three. Fine answer? <laughs> yep. On it. Okay. Okay. She wanna rephrase the question. Okay. <laughs> That's correct. Okay. I don't get it, girl. All right, well, y'all did it. 20. Y'all were perfect. All right, let's go do Bible. So can y'all do it again? Oh Lord, it depends on what book is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah.